All right, we got the water on high. We got the egg in the bowl, and we got the meat in the uh, the other bowl. All right, let's make a video. Hey boys, Adachi here, and I am still sick, so pardon my maybe shitty voice, but the new update came out, which is very exciting, so we're going to go ahead and drop into the news real quick and go over everything. And hopefully I don't miss anything this time. Let's see, where is the first bit? I do not actually see a notice for it. That is unfortunate. There is half orb cost going on once again, though. I just don't see it anywhere in the news. But yeah, we're doing half, uh, we got half orbs going on again, which is super sick. Now then, going into the events, we got actually quite a little bit of a drop here. I'm, I'm honestly surprised with how much we're getting. So, let's see, which one is the new banner? Here we go. First off, we're going to take a look at the new banner. Looks like our rate-ups are going to be on Lukiel, Shin, Archangel Smile, and Div Divine Beast Hunter. Uh, this is a pretty solid banner, but again, these are in the general pool. They're, you know, nothing amazing. We do have the collaboration banner going on, which is what I would recommend people pull on right now anyway. But if you do want to pull on this banner, it's most likely going to be for Archangel Smile and potentially Divine Beast Hunter, Lukiel, and Shin. Although both great units, you can you can skip them pretty easily here. Alrighty, and the next bit, let's see here, we got the new event, Training Field. So that's right, we're going to have two events running simultaneously. Here you're going to be able to gain double XP and double AP. That's right, double AP for all of the story units and Shin and Lukiel, the pickup banner units here. During the event, there's a chance to encounter the Gold Pockle. I have no idea what the Gold Pockle does. I fought a few of them, and I can't say anything crazy happened out of them. But you're going to be playing through another event, gaining points, and gaining currency to trade for stuff. So we'll take a look at this shop in just a little bit. Now, here is the interesting one. We have the, the Arc Only banner here. This is going to be Collection of Mana, and at least the SSRs that you're going to pull are only going to be Arc. So... Let's see here. We're going to take a look at the actual rates and whatnot specifically in a little bit. So there's that. And then here, I don't know if it's going to show it, but we did get a new update to the event. So we'll take a look at that real quick. With that update, we got some new events. So 600 crystals here available to you. One, you have to clear the new difficulty of the event. And then the second bit is just to clear out the rest of the shop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at those real quick. We'll start off with the new collection of mana stuff. We have this new event. This is basically just going to be a more high, highly difficult uh, mana beast boss, and you're going to be able to skip the rest of it just to fight the mana beast. And if you check here, the rewards you get are pretty standard. And then the first clear rewards, you're going to get one more Ethereum, and then this little badge of honor saying that you were able to beat this quest. This doesn't do you anything. That is just straight up ep right there. And overall, this quest isn't too hard. I'm not going to cover it because, you know, people have fought the Mana Beast. People know what to expect. The big thing I will say is you're going to want a healer that can consistently heal and is going to be able to kind of tank some hits here and there. And then you could honestly just clear this with one strong physical DPS friend unit. And if you don't have that strong physical DPS units, we're going to take a look at the shop real quick. We did get a new piece of gear added in, and that is the Elemental Bracelet. Is that it? Now, there's one other piece of gear, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was just the elemental bracelet. Alrighty, so I had to clear out the shop really, really quickly, but once you clear the shop, you're going to get access to this last piece of gear here. And this is the piece of gear you're really going to want to boost your damage if you can't clear like the last two parts of the event, because you can still farm all of the currency that you need, but if you want to clear out the last two parts of the event, which are considered kind of the difficult parts, like the boss rush and the newly added 13 star quest, this is definitely the accessory you're going to want. This is going to be giving you 15 mind, as well as its passive mind plus 10% when HP is at half, as well as boosting attack damage by 50% during the event. So this is the part that's going to go away once the event is over, but 50% is nothing to scoff at. This is freaking huge. And then we give, uh, it also gives 5% resistance to ice, lightning, and dark. So yes, you definitely want to clear out the shop so you can pick up this fairy crown here. I think there might be some in some chests, so we'll take a look in a little bit, but what was added in the shop is the elemental bracelet. This is going to give you 15 defense and defense plus 5% when HP is half or below. And then just during the event, this is also going to boost your damage by 20%. This is great because this is going to take up an accessory slot instead of all the other weapon slots that the ones have been taking up before. So this is just going to be an additional 20% on top of whatever gear you have equipped. So all of these accessories and weapons should definitely be used if you are struggling with the boss whatsoever. And then it also gives you 5% resistance to fire, earth, and light, as well as resisting... I never remember what these status ailments are. I think this is curse and disease? 
something like that. I I don't remember. I'm I'm really gonna have to I'm gonna have to learn what those things actually are. The crystals that were added in are going to be five of each of the colored crystals, and then one additional cluster for each, including one more rainbow cluster. That is that is really sick. I'm super happy to see that, personally, because I've just been farming this event like crazy. Alright, and then the next new shop is going to be for the training field. Once again, double XP and double AP for the story units and Shin and Lukiel. You should definitely take advantage of this if you want to build any of those units up, as well as it being half orb cost, so this is just the perfect time to like really, really beef these guys up. So in this shop, we're going to have 20 of each of these available souls for the story units. Unfortunately, not Shane and Lukiel, but that would be a little broken. And then we have one more of every cluster, including a rainbow, and then 10 more of each tier 3. We have 50 of the tier 1 crystals, as well as some 4-star uncapped mats and some 3-stars. Cool. Am I missing anything else? Oh, some gold. So what's this, like 50k gold? That's pretty neat. So you definitely want at least the crystals, I would totally go for the crystals first, and then if you're going to use these units, you should go for the souls. Alright, jumping into the next event, we do have new point rewards and a new shop, which we just went over the shop, so now we're just going to show off the point rewards real quick and just see whatever's notable. We got some story unit souls here, we get, is this just a single ticket? Yep, yeah, one SR or higher guaranteed ticket. We get two of each kind of book, one of the greater XP pots, 100k gold, please stop texting me. And then we have one more SR guaranteed gacha ticket, and this shouldn't be too difficult to farm up. They are both only going to last for the rest of this week, so we do still have something to look forward to once the week is up. And before I'm forgetting, the training dungeon, this is going to be huge. This is going to be open every day, once a day, until the end of the event. So it should be in a week from now. It should be next Thursday that this is going to stop, but this is going to be huge. So that way you can go ahead and get that free boost on your AP if you're going to go ahead and level up and learn some skills from your arcs there. Very big. Definitely make sure you do that every day. And then the last thing I wanted to end on was this banner, mostly just for the probability to kind of understand how it all works. So yes, no units in this banner whatsoever. So this is the arc, the arc to pull if you want to get arcs here. Uh, it gives you 8% rates for SSR arcs, and it looks like the boosted one for the top two right now is going to be a 0.8%. Now it's not huge, but still 8% for an SSR arc. If you need some SSR arcs, you don't have very many, you definitely want to pull on this banner. If you already kind of have a lot of arcs stacked up, this isn't necessarily going to be a much better shot at getting one of these arcs than something like, uh, where is it now? The regular banner here. If we look at the regular banner, the SSR rate for the arcs here is once again going to be 0.833. So if you're just wanting to go for these things specifically, uh, this banner is not going to be helping you whatsoever. But if you do want to just kind of fill up some arc lists here, you got some gems to throw around, definitely pull on this banner. And that wraps up today's uh, little event update. If I did miss something, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I did kind of rush this out because I just got off work and I'm still very sick if you can't already tell. Also, this probably won't affect you guys too much, but as a little update for you, uh, next week, starting on December 13th, I believe, I'm going to be going on vacation for a week. So I'll be gone from the 13th to the 18th. I'm going to be busting my ass before then though, so that way I can still at least make sure I schedule out two uploads to be going up while I'm away, but I probably won't be able to cover the new event that comes out during that week, but I will be on my Twitter and I'll probably be tweeting out about the events from my Twitter there if you do want to follow me over at twitter.com slash adachi gotcha. That's it. That's my only plug because I will be away, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.